how does work manage and simulate? Let me close these items and talk about them. So uh, in this part, if you take a look at here, you can see at a glance, yeah, uh, that if you want to just look at it very fast or check it, and here you can see Navis work manage uh, is to design simulation and clash detection software. But here uh, in Navis work simulate, you can see it's to design simulation and project review software. So as we said, it's a kind of glance as and this at these two softwares. And here is about the price, uh, just which is about annual or monthly. That is for every user. You have to pay attention to that. Let's go for feature parts. Uh, in project reviewing. Both softwares have real-time navigation. Also, both of them have whole team project review. Uh, in, in part of model review, both of them again have model file and data navigation. Both of them have review toolkit. And also uh, here you can see both, both of them have NWD and NWF publishing. Also, again, both of them have collaboration toolkit. So now let's go for model simulation and analyzers. So again, as you can see, both of them have 5D product scheduling and both of them have photorealistic model rendering. And again, both of them have object animation. So in part of coordination, we have some differences. Both of them have BIM coordination with AutoCAD. Both of them have BIM 360 glue integration. What about clash detection and interference checking? Just you can see it in Navis Work Manage. Also, you can see clash and interference management just in Navis Work Manage too. And in quantification part, you can see both softwares again have inter inter uh, integrated model takeoff on 2D sheet takeoff. Uh, so the only difference between Navis, Navis Work Manage and Navis Work Simulate is uh, as you can see in coordination part. So Navis Work Simulate doesn't have a tool in the name of Clash Detective. So it means you don't have this tool there. This one. So these were the differences between uh, Navis Works versions. You know, Freedom was free. We are not going to talk about that. You have to pay money for both uh, Simulate and Manage, but Manage is more complete than simulate. So here we use the Navis Works Manage version. And when you install it, you can see the icon on your desktop here. Be careful that you don't install the Navis Works 360 version uh, because it is connected to the internet and BIM 360. You know, this is the main version of Navis Works 2022. You know, you might install some other versions, it depends on your project. I mean, you might have 2021 uh, version on your system. Uh, let me tell you another point about the Freedom version. If you pay attention here, we have the links for Freedom. And here you see Navis Works NWC Expert Utility, as uh, you can see here. You have to be careful that when you install Navis Works, you will need a format or a kind of format that you can see here in the name of NWC. Actually, it has uh, different formats, NWD, NWF, and NWC. But we will talk about them later. You know, NWC is a format for Navis Work Cache. So if you're using different softwares like Revit, AutoCAD, Inventor, 3D Max, or even ArchiCAD, and you want to prepare the file for Navis Works very well, the best way is that you turn it to this format. The software can open it very easier. However, I told you we have NWD, FAX, IFC, and there are many other formats that this, this software can support. But this one is the best format for entering, actually the files. There you can also see the names of softwares here, like AutoCAD, Revit, 3D Max, Bentley MicroStation, and also ArchiCAD. You know, these softwares can produce this format if we do attention to this tool. You know, uh, until the version of Navis Works 2021, I think, yes, 2021, it has a part like utility that you can 
you can define in 3D Max or ArchiCAD if it has the installation, a Revit or AutoCAD if it has the installation. In fact, this utility is installed automatically. But in 22, but in 2022 version, you have to download it separately. Now, let me tell you a point that install Navis works as a last software, not the first one. Because, for example, if at first you install Navis, Navis works, and then, for example, you install Revit, that plugin won't be installed. And then, again, you have to download it from here. Uh, so, for sure, install Navis works as the last software that you want to install. So when you install it, then you want to in Revit, uh, for example, uh, let me open this file. In the section of add-ins, here, if you take a look, here, Navis works 2022, and Navis works switch back 2022, have been added. Have been added, and also in this part, in export the NWC icon has been added and you can see this icon there when you install this utility actually uh, on my system that it will be added on the Revit and those softwares that I told you before here but actually the uh, type of format on each one it will be different that here actually we're talking about Revit so download it separately and if you have the 2022 version, uh, actually from this link, not in the free fairy version, let's scroll down here in Navisworks NWC Expert Utility. Actually download the version and install it. It's not that hard. Uh, actually we have another thing in the name of uh, Object uh, Enable Navisworks here actually I searched for advanced steel object enabler of course we can see here 2021 version let's search for 2022 to check we have it or not and yes for sure we have it if you're using AutoCAD Civil 3D or AutoCAD Advanced Steel and such these softwares you have to download this enabler and install it on your system because when you enter your model from civil 3d or other softwares because the elements are micro there here it shows you like proxy and then you can not see the elements completely so this object en enabler will help that those things are activated actually i told you this just to help you but if you're using some, for example, Advanced Steel or Civil 3D, or if you're using other softwares, you can have this ability. So let me search for AutoCAD Plan 3D, for example, to check it if we have there. Uh, for actually Object Enabler. Uh, you know, actually, because I myself don't work with that. So let's see. Yes, apparently it has it. So let's uh, check it. So when you can, oh, when you open this page, so they have the same problem that we mentioned. So for example, they enter this format. So in Civil 3D, you can see the tanks like proxy, and this is not complete and this flaw. And when you when you still compile the enabler, enabler, you can see the shape completely. And actually, we have 2020 uh, version here. You can just download every version that you want from here. So if you enter a file from AutoCAD Civil 3D. AutoCAD Plan 3D, for example, or AutoCAD Advanced Steel, and such these kinds of softwares, and then you see the models are flawed, you have to search for the object enabler of that software, and then download it to remove the problem. And the things I told you were for uh, object enabler, plugin, and so on to get familiar with.